Crystal, where are you? I'm here. Haircut time. Time for a haircut. <laughs> Looks like you've been thinning out a little bit. Oh, Crystal, do not tell me that. Is there That's any the last thing I want to hear. Oh, well, there's a lot of product up in here. Products? I barely use this stuff. Well, I don't know. It looks really greasy. It kind of looks like a river, but like... Well, Crystal, like it's not your job to critique my hairdo. Let's get to snipping, shall we? All right. You know, Crystal, I bet you heard about the tragedy that befell me recently. Not in here. I done chipped my tooth on a corn nut. Oh, well, that's no good. No, it's good. No, I think it's bad. No, it's good. You want to know why? Because I never liked that tooth to begin with. And then I went to the dentist, and the dentist assistant is now tutoring my son cheater in maths and sciences. Well, that's good. No, it's not good. You see, my son, he got brain damage from a bad microwave over malfunction that oh. done hit his head. Well, that's bad. No, it's good. Because then I just got a $2,500 settlement from Samsung. Oh, that's good. No, it's bad. <laughs> you see... You see, I thought it was $2.500 million. And when I found out, I was so surprised, I fell hair hard on the floor right outside, <laughs> right outside the sizzler. Well, that's bad. No, it's good, because now I get free lobster dinners. And the front of house manager, Johnny Humper, is, knows my Yahoo address. Well, that's good. No, it's bad, you see. <laughs> It's because I'm in an open relationship. Well, that's good. No, it's bad, you see. Now my house is full of interior designers. Well, that's bad, I guess. No, it's good. <laughs> because now I'm going to be on, an, on that magazine, Country Living. Oh, that's good. No, it's bad. <laughs> you see, Country Living was... the magazine that my mama used to read. Oh, well, that's bad. It's neither good nor bad. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> I'll never forget the moment my mama looked me square in the eye and she said to me, it's time to meet your daddy. And I said, mama, what's gotten into you? Mama, you look different. And she said, the whole world's different now, boy. Come with me. And she walked with a little darkness in her step out to the cornfield. And she pointed out there and she said, meet your daddy. And I said, mama, what's gotten into you? I don't get it. And she said, come with me, child. And on each of her hands, she had one of those claws you use to reach things up on shelves. You know those claws they sell at 99 cent stores? And she said, it's time to dig up your daddy. And I said, mama, what's the meaning of this? And she walked with a fury toward the center of the field. And there she went deep into the ground, clawing and clawing and clawing and clawing until she hit a hard spot, a little wet and black as the night. She said, there he is, there he is. And she pulled up a mummified corpse. And I looked at the corpse, I looked at the skull, and I realized that was my father. And I looked at his face, and I realized it was my face. And I realized it was his face, and his father's face before that, and his father's before that, and his father's before that, and on and on and on like that, forever and ever ongoing. And I knew, I knew deep down in my bones that I was worthless, and that I was going to be stuck on this farm no matter what happens. God damn it! God damn it! Dear God! Dear God! Dear God! Well, you're all set. Okay. <laughs> see, you, see you next month. Thanks, Crystal. You did a great job. Thanks.